you know, I, I'm telling you, we are able to see what's really, truly going on behind the scenes. But you know what? The New World Order and the powers that be today, they are just smack, smack, smack all up in the people's face today. Can you imagine this? Imagine this. You've you seen the title up there. Rand Paul endorsing Mick Romney, who is a puppet for the establishment. And when he gets in the office, and he is going to get in the office because it seems like that's what the powers are that's the powers that be, do this um, dog and pony show that's going on while they're politically grandstanding in front of all the people. But, hey, you, you, you know what? Business as usual. Austerity measures for you and I, bailouts, brother. You know what? I am sitting and I am literally watching the history of ancient Rome play right out in front of my eyes. And I can tell you the truth, don't none of this surprise me. None of this surprise me. I mean, you start thinking about this stuff, I keep telling you. These people are professional gangsters and professional liars. You know, um, Caesar. I know that most of you people don't know too much about history, but I'm going to try to make an attempt. Then I'm going to play a little bit of this guy's excerpt of recording. What Rand Paul said, this boot-licking, jack leg Kentucky snake-eating liar. That's just my own public sentiment. But um, I, I want to play this thing and let you hear it if you can stomach some of it. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. But as you people can see, what I've been telling you all along, I've been telling y'all alone. Now let's get back to Caesar for a second. Caesar. The reason why that the so-called Republic killed Caesar is because Caesar literally got sick and tired of business as usual. They had monarchies and oligarchies who, who ruled the Senate. And, and what some of you people don't know is this. The Republic is the Senate ruling. That's history. And we all turn around and we give you a republic if you can keep it, but name me one representative that any of us have in that outhouse that they call a White House today. Name me one that represents the best interests of the people. They're all boot-licking, jack -licking liars. They're all liars. But what Caesar did was he went and he overthrew the republic the Senate. And you know what he did from there? He set up a dictatorship which the Senate was fighting against. And then the Senate killed Caesar. Because they didn't want what they call a, a dictator. Bro, so if we're not repeating history, then I don't know nothing about it. But I'm telling you what, I know history. And I am sitting watching this thing. It's just like almost like a script. You know how today um, you can sit and watch a movie. And you can just tell, you can anticipate and tell what's going to be next, what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next. It makes no difference. And, and this ain't nothing new under the sun. What a sick country we in. You ain't going to tell me that all them boogers are not in bed together. Huh? I guarantee every one of them are Freemasons. Every one of them. Every single one. They're looking for a new world order. And their God is Lucifer. Y'all hear what I said? Lucifer. And you, hey, you know what? And then you people out there who say, I don't, I don't talk about politics and religion. Well, you can't talk about neither one of them. You don't know too much about them because you can't see the forest for the trees. But I tell you what, business as usual. Y'all can count on that. 100% business as usual. My advice is you better start making your own way. That's what you better start doing. And you better start uh, getting together what you call mutual assistance groups. You better start protecting yourself because it's getting ready to get bad. I told you once and I said it a thousand times. This country that we call the United States of America, we have never got free from the crown. Don't you think for one minute that we whoop Cornwallis rear end? Don't you think about it. You talk about these stars and stripes and stuff. It's amazing the similarities that we have with London. It's amazing. It is utterly amazing. And I'm sitting up here. Try my best to inform all the people what's going on. But you know what? We don't care. We don't care. Hey, don't worry about it. I don't want to hear your belly aching. I don't want to hear your bawling, your squalling, and your crying. When crap is the fan either. Don't even think about even uttering my name.
And let me tell you what's really truly going on. The truth is, you got all these people licking each other boots, and especially the powers that be from the shadow government that you, you know most people don't know about. But this is a chess match, and this whole thing is all about getting all these so-called Ron Paul supporters and these young people over to vote for Mitt Romney. That's, that's what this is all about. It's all about, especially, especially if they turn around and they make Ron Paul vice president of Mitt Romney. I, I'm mad. What? I, I got a question for all you Americans out there, especially all the die-hard Ron Paul supporters. What would you say, and what do you say, if Ron Paul accepts being a vice president of Mick Romney? I want to know. I, I want to know. I'm sure the people out there in the world want to know. I, I want to know what everybody wants to know. You see, because I know it's a game. I know it's a game. Now, in a perfect world, with Ron Paul saying all the right words, would it not seem like that he would be the choice to get in because... Of him understanding the monetary and physical policies of the United States of America, sure it is. But when it comes down to it, it comes down to it. They all are the same, every single one. I want to know what the old keepers. I want to know what everybody out there, all these Ron, Ron Paul, die hard supporters. Pastor Dow ain't voting. I told you a few videos back. I ain't voting for Satan and Satan, Satan and Lucifer. The devil and the devil, or the devil and the demon. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't getting mixed up in that mess. It's sad and it's sorry. <laughs> so you just learned a history lesson about a republic. You don't know what a democracy is because they keep changing the definition every time you turn it around. Um, I'm telling you, people, you better learn how to band together. Better learn how to band together fast.